Hello all. So I got a new uh, Mr. Cool do-it-yourself mini split uh, heat pump air conditioner that uh, both heats and cools. This is the 12K do-it-yourself series. This is built for anybody who wants to install a unit like this themselves and don't want to hire an HVAC company to do it. So I'm going to show you how I go about installing it. And uh, I'm going to be installing it on my garage over here. So uh, this is the units that they send you. But this is the inside unit. This will be mounted on the wall inside. Uh, this will be outside. It's going to be outside uh, condensing unit. There'll be a line that goes in between these two that that pumps out heat or cold. And they also send this little box. The one thing they don't send you is uh, electrical. So you're going to need to buy like an outlet like me. It needs to be on a 20 amp breaker. And uh, uh, I, I'm already wired into the garage uh, 20 amp breaker. So I just got to disconnect here. And you know you put, pop this in one way turns it on and when you need to work on it you pop it out and turn it off the other way that's all these disconnects do and I got a little whip right here with electrical wiring to go from here to the unit after I get it mounted and I'm also going to level up the outside unit on bricks they do have these little pads you could set it on you could buy or you could pour a cement pad but I'm just going to use bricks and level them up I'll show you what I mean on that so uh but remember this, this does not come with with the unit they send you so you got to buy your own electrical and i'll put all the links in the description for what i'm doing and inside here so i'm going to be mounting uh the inside unit is going to be mounted up here here's the whole garage here but it's kind of packed in here but i'm going to be uh mounting it up on the top up here somewhere and a three and a half inch hole is going to have to be go through the wall uh, to the outside condensing unit, so I'm going to have to sit here and figure that all out in a minute. Uh, basically, I was just doing the electrical getting started on that since that doesn't come with it. And uh, for me, I just tapped into this uh, outlet since the garage is on a 20 amp breaker. And that's a 110 volt unit out there. I just tapped into here. I drilled straight out and, and wired it into a disconnect. It's pretty simple. Uh, every, every place is going to be different. And uh, it might be best to put it on its own breaker, depending on how many things you got running in your garage. For me, it's, it's not a huge deal. If it does trip, uh, and because I got too many things running in here, then later on I might run it on its own breaker, but I, I think I'll be fine, at least for what I'm doing. But however you do it, uh, watch some videos on that, on your electrical, or whatever you need to do. Uh, that's basically just how I'm doing it. So I'm gonna go outside and get started setting up these units and show what's in the boxes. All right, so I'm back, and this is the inside unit uh, that's going to be mounted. It's inside of this box right here. This is what it looks like. Uh, right now, it's upside down because I just got it sitting up here. But uh, it's got this long line set, and uh, this is what is going to be need to be run outside. Uh, I believe it's 22 feet long. I'll have to double check that. But uh, you know, this runs this for your communication lines from inside to outside. And this transfers the heat and cold to your refrigerant lines to the inside and outside. And it's it's got to have a three and a half inch hole, I believe it is, that needs to be drilled so that we can uh, feed this out uh, where we want it to go. And uh, they give you a little uh, chart or a little template that you can put up so that you can drill out you know, where you want the holes. You can drill them out on the, on the left side or the right side of the unit. I'm going to have to look, see what's best for me. And there's this plate that you mount on the wall and if you want to see where the plate is right now it's it's mounted on the back of the unit so the will have to take it off this is the plate right here you just got one phillips screw right there hopefully you can see that and so that that phillips screw i'm just going to pop that out and pop this plate off because that's what this whole inside unit is going to sit on once it mounts up there so I'm gonna go ahead and pop that plate off and try to get a good idea on where it's gonna sit. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna find some studs, find some good studs to screw it onto, and figure out where I need to drill my uh, three and a half inch hole. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back and I just want to show you I got that plate. It's not it's not perfect yet. I still gotta level it. I just got one uh, wood screw going to a center stud that I found. But I want to show you that the, the, this inside box also comes with. Uh, all these manuals comes with the Wi-Fi uh, setup and everything else. So make sure whatever you do, be sure to read this manual uh, before you get started. It's got some pretty simple uh, steps here, and uh, 
in, in the steps that I'm at right now, basically, is, you know, I'm going to be putting a unit on the wall, so I need to put this bracket up there, which I got, and you can see it's getting leveled, which I'm going to level, and then you got to drill a three-inch hole in it, and uh, it, this kit does include a three-inch hole saw, so don't worry about buying one of those. And uh, that's the steps that I'm at. This is uh, the other things that come inside this box on the inside. You know, some wire straps and uh, some uh, little screw screws to help mount this up there. Uh, looks like something for the Wi-Fi, like some kind of Wi-Fi dongle. Remote control and a remote control mounting kit. The main thing that I'm doing right now is to get this level and get it mounted on there so it don't, won't come off. So. I got one really good wood screw up there in the center. I'm gonna go and use these uh, for the sheetrock to help level it out and make sure it's really good, make sure it's solid up there. And I'm gonna mark out where I need my three inch hole to go through the wall. And so that's where I'm at and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back. And I just wanted to show you that, that uh, this, the little box that this comes with, so since this package comes with three boxes, it also comes with this, uh, I guess this is like a gift of a nice little carry bag for tools but uh the main thing is it comes with uh, the three inch hole saw and two crescent wrenches to tight tighten up the line set but uh we're gonna need this three inch hole saw and uh that's where i'm at right now is i'm gonna be uh drilling through my three inch hole up here on the right that is something to, to decide is uh because you can feed this out like you could bend the lines out here and feed it out so that so that the hole would be here or this lays in here and it can be bent and come out on the right side which i think i'm gonna do um i'm gonna have to give it a little more thought here before i start drilling but uh but that's basically it is just figure out which side you want to follow your template here which you know as you can see there's the bracket and you can put a hole on the left or a hole on the right just to make sure everything lines up so that when you go to mount the unit on there, you can slide the line set out and click it right on to the bracket. All right, so I got the, I got the mounting bracket up there and I got it leveled out. So it's all level and screwed on the wall. And I went ahead and drilled uh, my hole. I'm gonna go and put mine on the right. Uh, like I said, you could put, I guess you could put it over here too, uh, whichever way works best for you. And it also comes with this right here so that you can slide through the wall for your, uh, before you put your line set through. So I'm going to go ahead and try to slide this through. And get some insulation in the way I made these two hands. But you get the point. Basically put that on and the outside is going to get this cap. So that's the stage I'm at now. And I'll be right back. All right. So I got the inside bracket up. And I got the hole drilled through the wall. So there it is right there. There's a three and a half inch hole coming out with my disconnect over here. And uh, here's the outside condensing unit. It's inside of this box. Uh, it comes, uh, it sits outside. It comes with this right here, which is a good uh, water line or a condensing water line. Some uh, little feet if, uh, if need be. But uh, the next step is to mount it on something solid and flat. So you could pour a slab. Uh, a lot of people do that. There's also those little, uh, pre-bought ones that you could buy for like $40 on Amazon. Uh, I've used those a lot. But uh, for this, I'm gonna go ahead and just use some bricks and set them down. I'm gonna level them up and then just level them up. Here's a little legs on this unit. You can see, Son is gonna level up some bricks and set it on it for, uh, for this install. So that's where I'm at and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back and that's basically all I'm gonna do for a base. Like I said, you can uh, pour a little slab. They got those uh, cheap little uh, cement looking little pads on like Amazon and things, places like that, that, uh, that look really nice that so you can set it on and level it up. But I'm just gonna use two bricks and uh, I got it leveled up. And I'm gonna go ahead and the next step is, I'm just gonna go ahead and set this uh, outside condensing unit on top of the bricks from my base and get started uh, running the line set next. All right, so I just want to give one more snap of what it looks like for me before I push this out and snap it on. And the way I was doing that, I did have this unit upside down. I don't know what I was thinking. I was thinking it was going to come out this side, but it is going to come out that side once this, because this is the bottom of the unit right here, which is no big deal. It's uh, where I needed to go, so that works good for me. 
So one last shot before I basically I'm just I'm gonna have to feed this all out and then I'm gonna click on to the top uh, on the top up here and this clip will go up here on this top of this and then down here at the bottom is some little clips right here that will clip onto here and that will be it pretty much for the inside unit so uh, that's where I'm at so I'll be right back all right so I finally got the inside unit mounted and it's not really heavy you know it might be like 20 pounds or so it's just feeding that line out you just get you got to get the top on first the little clip and then clip in the bottom little clips it's not terribly difficult but it took me like i don't know two three minutes to get it to those bottom ones that clip in there right uh, look at it where the clips are a little better than i did before you go get it up there it might help you out but it's not hard basically just feed that line out and clip it on the bracket and here it is running outside so you got the big old long line set like i said i have to google that again or look it up i forget i think it was 22 feet whatever's extra is just going to be curled up it doesn't get cut so uh the next step is to curl it up good and put in uh, the rest of my electrical and hook up these um uh, the refrigeration lines which is going to go over here and so uh that's the next step i think i need a phillips to pop that off so i'll be right back okay so i got that line set all uh, uh folded up in the back back here because all this extra is just gonna have to be rolled up but uh one of the things i wanted to show you is on most mini splits you need to pump down the system after you hook up the line set to pump all the air out of the line set but this that has self-sealing lines so you can see inside here it's got that on there and if you take this off you can see here when you tighten it up it's going to open it up but this is all right now it's all vacuumed out but uh i just wanted to show you that there's also a port over here that if you did want to pump it down you could but uh these are set up so that you don't have to pump them down a lot of people might get confused with that especially if you've installed mini splits before uh, that's why uh, you don't need a vacuum pump or gauges to hook this up. So basically right now I'm here and uh, I'm going to screw these on, uh, uh, screw them on, get them tight. I included two wrenches here, two crescent wrenches to make sure that they're tight. And, uh, and then I'm going to get started on the wiring, which is underneath here next. So that's where I'm at right now. Be right back. Okay, so I got these fittings. They're only, I just screwed them on hand tight. They're not tight at all, barely on there. And uh, here's the two crescent wrench they give. And uh, if you read their instructions, which definitely do before you do this, I'm just gonna show you how I'm doing it. They have, uh, you know, you don't take the plastic pieces off until you screw them on hand tight, which I got them on. And they want you to do the bottom line first. As you can see, you get two wrenches and you gotta do it quickly or it could, uh, lose too much of the vacuum inside of this line because this line is under vacuum right now. So basically do the bottom one first and when those two uh, uh, fittings hit each other, they're gonna, it, it's gonna cause the vacuum to, you know, it's gonna seal up. But you don't, you wanna have the threads tight when that happens. So we're gonna, I'm, not, I'm gonna have to use two hands to do this. And uh, so the next step would be to let the refrigerant in the unit which is underneath these caps right here. Uh, like I said, be sure to follow the instructions. They got it in the back of the manual, back in this instruction manual. And uh, shows you the basic steps. It's pretty simple. And uh, the last step would be to let the refrigerant in the unit, but I'm gonna go ahead and wire it up next. All right, so I got the electrical in, and it's basically uh, just a disconnect. You know, you pop it in, turns off the power to the unit if it needs to be worked on. I got 110 coming in uh, here from the garage and 110 going out right here to the unit through this line and it's coming in and it's really easy to wire up uh, you know you just have 110 right here and a ground so uh, uh, neutral is almost always white double check your uh, your wiring call electrician if you need to it's just uh, 110 volts coming in on the L and N line in neutral and you'll have this plug from the unit inside. It snaps together. And I fed it through uh, right here. And uh, you know, my electrical right there. It's pretty simple hookup. 
Uh, I did have some uh, little uh, ends. You might want to get some. It's easier to, to screw them in instead of just having wire ends. But uh, it, that's just some basic electrical work right there. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this cap on. And uh, then I'm going to let the refrigerant loose. And it pretty much should be it. So I'll be back. Okay, and so the last step is going to be to let the refrigerant loose into the system. So you want to pop these caps off right here. And this is uh, this is after you know everything's sealed up, everything's tight right here. These everything because it's going to let all the refrigerant into the system. Basically, the last step. And then got an Allen key right here. And basically. You're just going to take these and inside of here if you see in there there's the allen key and both of these and you want to turn them and give them some good turns you want to turn them all the way out it's going to let all the refrigerant into the system basically so then just see you can hear it turning here it coming and turn it all the way out till it stops and it stopped right there Undo this to the one. Okay, stop right there. So they're both all the way out. And so that's basically the last step. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, plug in my uh, disconnect up here to give it electricity and test it out. You want to tighten these caps down a little bit just in case they ever leak. Always a good idea. And so I just need to pop on this little cover here, throw in my, uh, turn on my disconnect, which is just on the on side. You know, you just plug it in where it says on and I'll have power and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back and I put some batteries in this remote control. Got power going to it. I'm gonna kick it on, turned on. Got this uh, nice little remote control. You can see the, the layout up there too. It says right on the unit what the temperature is. And, oh yeah. I hear that outside unit, it kicked on and it's really, it's starting to pull out some nice cold air now. Yeah, I can feel it. That's, that's really nice. Let me go outside and show you the, the outside unit. And there's the outside unit running here. It's not very loud, it's pretty quiet. And, uh, but that's basically it. That's how I hook up uh, this mini split out here. Um, one thing I got to love to do is I need to cover this right here with uh, with the cover. They got these real nice um, cheap uh, like covers on like Amazon uh, that I use, and so I'm gonna I'm gonna get one of those and cover this all up and make it look nice, and maybe fold this up a little bit better back here. Even though it's probably about it, it's probably about it uh, the way it'll go. But uh, that's basically it. If you got any questions, ask me in the comments below, and I'll try to answer them. But uh, that's how I hook up uh, Mr. Cool Mini Split.